Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Rusty Toolbox. In this episode, putting in some new catalytic converters, and hopefully, if it comes in time, a new fuel pump. Stay tuned. Well, I'm pretty excited. Got some fun stuff in the mail. New Magnaflow Universal stainless steel catalytic converters. I'm hoping I'm hoping that these will be pretty much a direct fit, uh, so I can cut the old ones out and put these in. Either you know strap them in, cut them in, and weld them in. I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure there will be welding. There will be a lot of cutting, and uh, hopefully no tears. So let's get these opened up and get the old ones off the car. Uh, wrestled a bear but um, made some interesting discoveries down there got the passenger side catalytic converter off this is an original and it looks like the driver side cat the driver side cat was um, was replaced so my guess is this is the only one that needs to be replaced because that other one is fairly new. Um, so I'm going to start with this one, get it attached. Um, hopefully it runs okay. If it does, no check engine light, then we're done. If not, then I'll just put the other one on. So, um, yeah, this cutoff, this cutoff tool and blade. Just suck. So it's been frustrating because the blade just won't stay in the the sawzall thing. So anyway, uh, it's not exactly right. The uh, the the fit isn't exact. So I'm gonna have to take uh, maybe two or three inches out of just this pipe and uh, and add a little extension on one end. Not a big deal. But, uh, let's get to it. Passenger side cat is in, detached, secure. Now um, I'm gonna go to bed because it's like 10:30, 11 o'clock. Um, we'll test it in the morning, see if um, there's any codes. I left the battery unplugged so that it would reset. Obviously, we'll drive it, see if it throws any codes. You know, see if anything happens. Um, but that other, the other cat that's in there was, it looks like it has a 2015 date on it, so only, you know, three years old, a little more than three years old. You know, I can't imagine a uh, cat failing for only three years. You know, weirder things have happened. I'll hold on to this other cat for now, but um, hopefully that's it. So we'll give it a drive tomorrow and see how it does. All right, driving the car. Catalytic converter, the new one on the passenger side, is installed. Sounds good. I think there might be a tiny little exhaust leak um, around one of the welds, so I'm going to go back and touch that up later. But i um, been driving it for a little while this morning. No check engine lights, which is good. 
and once we get out of this upcoming school zone, I'll give it some beans and uh, we'll see how it drives and sounds. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Feels pretty good. No check engine light. Fingers crossed that that was the, uh, that that was the issue. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and button up what sounds like a small exhaust leak. I think I, I think I know where it is. There was one weld that was hard to get to, but whew, hopefully that cleared up the check engine light. I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic. All right, time is now. Let's put this fuel pump in. First, I gotta take out the seat. I guess the uh, previous owner let their dog come back here once in a while or they just freaking fed their dog out of the uh, fuel pump goodness gracious do some vacuum in here So, got the fuel pump out, with the uh, cap and everything there. This assembly I've got, it's got a new ring for the top there, and a new fuel pump assembly. So, you can see this basically is everything that goes you know, from here all the way down. So we will just be reusing, obviously, the uh, power clips. And then um, cutting these and hooking this up. Now do it. fully buttoned up just gonna go ahead and replace this uh, insulation here with one hand and yeah, that's kind of crappy but it's all good that's fine now before we put the seat back in let's uh, Put these fuses back. What have we got? 31 and 17. 31 and 17. Fuel pump fuses. Okay. Done with this. This works. There we go. Got a 
climb a little longer. Looks like we got fuel pressure. Good to go. All right, thanks for joining me on the Rusty Toolbox. We got a new catalytic converter. We got a new fuel pump. Had a check engine light pop up today. Don't know what the heck that is because I can't read it with my OBD sensor, with my OBD reader. For some reason, the uh, reader on the inside of the car is not working anymore. So I got a little adapter so I could plug into the one in the front, the 20 pin. BMW one. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Might have to go in there and see if there's a bad ground or something because obviously I need that to get past inspection and all that stuff. So, and to figure out what this check engine light is for because it's not for the cat. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Thanks for tuning in. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, you guys, I'm going to give a, do a big giveaway. We're going to do some fun stuff. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed and, and hopped on the train and been here either from the beginning or you know at any point between then and now just want to say thanks i really enjoy doing this um i'd love to do it more often and the more people that subscribe and, and tune in obviously the more i'll be able to do that so thanks a lot appreciate it see you guys later